Hi, today I'm going to take you through making a grass leader. A grass leader is used to help you practice your touch and go or waterborne cast when you can't make it to the water. The big thing here is to create or simulate water tension and you can't do that with just a, a straight leader. So I'll take you through it. The original one that I used to tie uh, was done with blood knots. I don't know about you, but I can't stand tying blood knots. Uh, I simplify some and just use surgeon knots and uh, trim them down. It doesn't seem to make a big difference in performance and, and you're able to get out and practice at your local park, in your backyard, whatever. So what we have here just are two materials. I've got some 30 pound uh, test leader. This happens to be fluoro. You can use mono uh, and just a pair of scissors here. All right, so we're gonna take uh, some of our fluorocarbon here and just pull off, um, let's see, about 18 inches or so. I'm just gonna measure from my elbow to the uh, tip of my finger here and then cut. And what we'll do is we'll do that 10 times um, or so <clears throat> to build up all of our pieces. All right, so now that we have all of our pieces cut, we're just going to take, uh, take two of our pieces here, take two ends, <clears throat> put them kind of parallel to each other, do an overhand loop there, and then pull your tags through. Okay, then you can just pull it tight, give it a little, uh, just wet it with some saliva, pull it tight, and what you end up with here is two tags. Um, you can trim those to size and uh, just depends. I, I would start uh, kind of long about that length here and uh, if you need, feel that it's too much, to, uh, too much drag through the grass, you can trim them fairly short down to, you know, maybe, maybe uh, I don't know, half inch or so, quarter of an inch maybe. So I'm just going to continue this process and then I'll come back and trim the, the tags. All right, as you can see here, I've got uh, my knots all trimmed down and uh, 10 or so pieces uh, connected to each other using surgeon knots. Now the last piece of this is to uh, find an end here and then just tie a, uh, a, a quick overhand loop here and that'll serve as your loop to loop uh, connection on the rob, or uh, I'll say to your line. So just a simple overhand knot like that and uh, trim that down and you've got yourself a decent grass leader. There you have it. All right, now that you have your grass leader all tied up, you might be wondering how you actually attach this to a loop-to-loop -loop connection. Um, at the end of your, uh, your, your shooting head, or tip, uh, you've got uh, a, a regular loop-to-loop, -loop. however, that's an awful small connection to try to fit all those surgeon knots through. So just a little trick, take this loop, fold it back over um, your line, and you'll end up with a much bigger loop now. So now you can take your leader and find its loop to loop or end loop, I'll say. So here we are. I'll feed that over this large loop and then pull all those surgeon knots through that big loop on your tip. And once you get them all through, you can kind of just tighten this large loop down. And you end up with something like that. 
So the one thing you might want to keep in consideration is that, as you can see here, we've got a lot of St. Augustine grass. So not every foot to 18 inches is just fine here in Florida. If you live on turf grass, you might need to adjust your knot length to maybe every six to eight inches, and you might want to switch over to that blood knot. Try it and see what works best for you. So the real question is, how does it cast? Let's take a look. Just gonna strip out some line. And we'll try a snap T. Cast awesome. This is a perfect way to practice in your backyard if you can't get on the water. Give it a shot.